There's something about writing music that is healing or therapeutic or necessary or a spiritual practice that um, I think living in a place like this like maybe requires it in a way. I've lived here in Hell's Kitchen for about nine years and uh, I love that it's busy and full of people and uh, it feels like the opposite of actually how I like to live which is a little quiet small oasis within this bit of chaos. Places that I walk to regularly. One is definitely the pier. I think it's Pier 84. So you can see the Hudson River, um, and there's something incredibly calming about the water um, anywhere, but I think particularly right over there. There's also a community garden, the Clinton Community Garden, which is um, was sort of founded by squatters in the 70s and now is just kind of a holy, sacred place to me. There's a beehive, there are all kinds of fruit trees. I really like Times Square. I like the, again, the total chaos of it. Um, the like, it f just feels like a s very odd, strange, surreal version of the world. And the really interesting thing, which some people hate, but I really love is that every day you can go there and there are people who are there for the first time and they're so excited. <laughs> every single day they are just ecstatic. And uh, there are very few places that you go that just feel like that. I think every piece starts with thinking about who's going to be playing it or singing it. What do they um, like? What's important to them as musicians? I knew about Pauline and David uh, Ijardini and we met each other in Paris last fall. At that point, I hadn't written a piece for cello and piano before. I think about harmony a lot. Harmony is just like an endless, vast world of intrigue. <laughs> so I, I'll sit at a keyboard or a piano, but usually it's a small keyboard, <laughs> and find some of the harmonies that speak to me and then start to combine them in different ways. If ultimately the feeling of kind of moving through something and having like bits of fragments of memory come in over here, come in that, and kind of combine in a certain way where you feel like, you know, the wheel of time is still moving. <laughs>